Hello, my Biblio darlings. It's so good to see you. Welcome back. And you've tuned into Bibliothesia. And my name is Mally. And the lovely story that we're reading today is called Be You. But before we read Be You, I'm going to read to you some jokes. And the whole purpose of jokes is jokes um, hopefully will make you laugh. And when you laugh, your body relaxes. So let me pick up my joke book. What do you call a fake noodle? What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> it's supposed to imposter impasta. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the next one? Why are frogs always so happy? They eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> True. And why do watermelons have fancy weddings? Because they can't elope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm hoping your body's more relaxed because you've, uh, you've laughed at some jokes, I'm hoping. And let's read the, the story. Be you. You were born to be so many things. No matter where your journey leads, remember to be curious be adventurous, be patient, be brave, and most of all, be you. And this story is a joyful celebration of individuality, persistence, and, say, and staying true to you. And this book is dedicated to Stephanie Germanota and who she became, P. Peter H. Reynolds. Be you. Look, there's a cute little baby. And what it says is, you were born to be so many things. Humble, smart, generous, polite, kind, hopeful, funny, spirited, curious, colorful, moody, heroic, helpful, effervescent, loving, patient, optimistic, inventive, hungry, active, mindful, persistent, ready, surprising, exuberant, loving, inventive, reverent, intuitive, Peaceful, adventurous, gregarious, creative, helpful, feisty, vivacious, unique, sincere, compassionate, sweet, cheerful, loved, peaceful, clever, courageous, respectful, sensible, connected, sympathetic, gentle, interesting, strong, rational, ambitious, artistic, philosophical, kind, selfish, visionary, cheerful, brave, spiritual, dynamic, yourself, sleepy, smart, insightful. You were born to be so many things, indeed. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads, is for you to always be you, 100%. Be ready to take that next step towards being an amazing human being. Mm -hmm. Be curious. Turn every stone Ask every why and keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life. When you are ready, step outside your comfort zone. Bravely explore new paths and see where they lead, lead, where they lead you. Be connected. Find kindred spirits. Be with those who make you feel like the real you. Oh, I love this book. Be persistent. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Yes. Be different. Yes. Be silly, be quirky, be odd. Be unique, be weird, be colorful. Be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. The only thing that I would add to this page is when they say be colorful, spell the Canadian spelling. C-O-L-O-U-R-F-U-L. Be different. Be kind. Be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen. Then listen some more. Learn about who they are. Beautiful. Be brave. 
try new things. Take a deep breath and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Most definitely, yes. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you. I'm going to um, just mention something here. I've wanted to do this YouTube channel for years, and I always put it off the back burner. And one day I decided today's the day I became adventurous. And you know, it wasn't easy, but I'm heading in the direction which I'm wanting to head into. So be your own thinker. Be okay being alone. Take time to, to be on your own. Hear your own thoughts, your own inner voice, and listen to your heart. Be patient. Being more, being more you takes time. Take a deep breath. We will at the end also. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let your future unfold at its own pace. It will be worth the wait. Be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. Come back and hear the story if you need an encouraging word. As you voyage out into the world, remember, no matter what, you will always be loved. Always. Because love starts with self-love. And that's what all these stories are about that I'm reading. It's about helping you find love within yourself. You are ready. So go ahead. Be you. Be very, very you. Yes. Go ahead. Be yourself. Be the best version of you. Each day is a new chance to be more you. And that's by Peter Hamilton Reynolds, who wrote this book. What did you think of the story? Can you resonate with it? When, when you heard different parts, did you say, Hey, that's me. That's me. That's me too. Well, I'm hoping all of it was you. Because I think you are pretty amazing. And thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been fabulous. And one way that you can be you Maybe a little calmer is hearing jokes at the beginning. And let's finish off our time together with a deep breathing exercise. So when you're ready, inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. Now hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And exhale out like you're blowing out birthday candles for eight counts. I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed. As you did the exhale, you thought more of the story about being authentically you in all of your parts. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today, taking time out of your very busy day to join in the fun of hearing the story be you. And in between now and when you come back to hear the next story, I've got a request and that is, could you please take really good care of you that would make my heart very happy. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and like. And until next time, take care. Bye.